finally getting a break from some of the rain this afternoon and evening, but we still have a flood watch in effect through Saturday for much of mid-Missouri, especially long and south of I-70. That's where we could see an additional one to three inches of rainfall from tonight into Sunday. So over the next few days, we'll be tracking these rounds of showers and a few thunderstorms. Here's the radar over the last couple of hours, expecting more of that rain to push south and east of us tonight. So we will continue to dry out with that thunder activity staying south of us as our front continues to slide south and east, taking that precipitation with it. We will be clearing things out tonight. I do think most of the area will see cloud cover. However, our northern counties could end up being a little bit more clear, allowing the temperatures to drop off into the upper 30s tonight. Starting out tomorrow morning, very early in the morning, we are still dry for the morning commute. But by late morning, early afternoon, that rainfall starts to spread back in. Sticks with us through most of the day. And then through Saturday morning, showers start to diminish through about noon. And we'll have a bit of a break in the afternoon. After that, I'll be tracking our next batch of some showers and thunderstorms for Sunday and that is also looking pretty widespread for our area. We're going to see anywhere from one to three inches of rainfall through that time frame. This is going to be on top of the inch to an inch and a half that we've already seen across much of mid-Missouri, and that's why we have that localized flooding threat on smaller streams and rivers. Weekend forecast is chilly, expecting more dry time for Saturday with a high near 52. It's still going to be breezy through Sunday with a high near 50. We'll have a good chance of some rain and likely a few thunderstorms by afternoon for parts of the area. Into next week, a little bit of rainfall left over on Monday will be in the 50s for much of next week.